Hey, it's January 28th, and I'm excited to share. I have three reviews of our film, uh, Touch the Water, that came in today. So I want to read you um, what they had to say. This one's from Indian Country Today. It says, Touch the Water is a movie all Native country should pay attention to and be proud of. Let's get out and support it. Um, then another one that was actually from a Native American entrepreneur, which I think this magazine's been out for a year or two. Um, it says, the, the small Native flick, Touch the Water, catches the eyes of Hollywood as it opens on its 500th screen in the United States this weekend. So that's exciting. The third one that we received was actually from Native People's Magazine. It says, first time actress, 80 year old, to be determined person, stills the audience's heart in a new Native film, Touch the Water. Again, that, that's Native People's Magazine. So if you see, they, they all sent me, and this is the one from the Native American Entrepreneur. This is Indian Country Today. And then this is the, the article on, in Native People's Magazine about Touch the Water. So you probably guess these aren't real, but this, this morning when I started my two hour writing session, trying to get myself motivated and get focused into what the story is, how I want it to be received, to get people's reaction. I do that sometimes as a, as a way that to spark my creativity and just my, my motivation, like, hey, real people are gonna see this. And so I start envisioning in my mind, what are some of the reviews? What are people going to be, to be saying about this film? And so I went right to, let me grab three newspapers or magazines or, or news stations and, and some of what they say. And so that's where those come from. These are, these are in my mind helping me remember that I, I would love to get this out, you know, over 500 screens to play in that many theaters and catch Hollywood's attention. Um, who's this little tiny film? What's it doing? We've never heard of any of these people or whatever. And, you know, or native Indian country today, just about good thing about the film. And then who are 80 year old actresses, whether she's 80 or she's 70 playing an 80 year old in the film or whatever. So this is just a really powerful tool that I've, I've had on a f few of my last films that I, that helps me in the writing process. Even on a, the, this, this project on the, the board here, I read that this morning, a couple of the the quotes I have, I think in that that case, I actually made up made up a magazine that gave me one of the reviews. So we'll see see when the movie's done and out, and see if anyone of these three people actually these three magazines actually give us a review. So, but it is that's a good good little trick, good little skill that helps again to kind of visualize, help my spiritual eyes start seeing things that are in the in the future, and then how am I going to work today, right now, in this writing moment to help my physical eyes actually read those things that right now my spiritual eyes were reading. So um, good tool, good tool to use. Anything you can do to help you envision and like to keep training, to keep pushing hard, to keep working is a positive, positive thing that as artists and creators that we need to, we need to really grasp on and, and move forward with. Before I started writing this morning, I started my two hour clock and then I went through and did my, my made up reviews or reviews that I'm dreaming of getting. Before that, I was having just some personal moments of kind of the struggle I've shared briefly along the journey with being non-native, trying to, trying to make a native film. Um, and some of those, so those insecurities and doubts and those feelings of, you know, what am I doing this for? I was really having, having, those kind of uh, they were trying to depower me, if that's the word, unpower me. Um, and so I literally got to the, after a few minutes of that, I had to put it aside and I, I jumped in, I jumped into writing, writing those review ideas. And then as soon as I jumped over into the script and started reading the script and working through it right away, just those feelings rushed back to me, to my mind, to my heart that this is where I need to be for this project right now, that, that I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be working on what I, I need to be working on, that I'm, I'm the one that needs to be putting these words on paper and then bringing, you know, responsible and bringing in the right actors and the crew and every, getting everything else put together so that this film, film happens. Um, Cause I, I think if I wouldn't tell this story, this story probably wouldn't get out there. That gave me strength and, and a feeling of, of confidence 
and don't worry about those things you can't change. Focus on the things you can change and the things you have control over. Focus on that and leave everything else to a higher power. And so went ahead and had the rest of that two hours of great writing. I'm still working on the second pass of the second draft. It's coming together. It's more and more things are seeing. Dialogue is, is shrinking down or becoming more streamlined. We have a character right now, um, he's Crazy Bob, in the film that I've, I'm weaving in. This was a guy, an idea that a friend threw at me on our car ride to, to the PJ nominee breakfast about having, I told him a little bit about the script and he told me some about his father and, and stuff of his dad's getting older and kind of how, you know, at times our, our, our elders start reversing and kind of becoming little children and children again. And so kind of threw out the idea, hey, maybe making a, there'd be some cra kind of a crazier guy in the film. And so I had a guy in there, he just was kind of in the background and such. And so now I've just brought that character forward through my friend James is just a little idea he threw at me and I've taken in, I've, I'm adding, it's just giving a little more depth to the film, something for these ladies to kind of laugh at and oh, here's crazy guy and th you know, so just a little more banter and some other stuff going on there at the the senior day day center. So that's, that's where I'm at, the rest of my day, I'm focusing on getting back into the funding, funding game. It's not my favorite place to be, I'd rather be in the creative side of of the project of the writing and, and getting actors and getting stuff lined up to make it happen. But without those funds, a lot of this wouldn't happen at the, the quality or the, the higher level I'm hoping it would will happen at. And so that's pretty much where the rest of my day is going to be spent is, is just going back, call, following up with a few that I've contacted yesterday and a few last week and then and start reach out to another you know, the next group that, that are coming to mind. Even this morning, I start having a thought of, I need to talk to this person. I need to reach out to this community. And I'm starting to make that list, keep track of it on my, my sponsorship opportunity page, which right now it's, it's at 30, 31. And I've contacted, uh, what is about 20, 23 people so far. And so I have another list of five or six that have come up today that I'm going to reach out to. So that's the rest of my focus today. I um, want to sh give a shout out to my friends Roy and Cena up in Farmington whose shirt they gave me. Let me stand up and show you my cool shirt that they they gave me. They even had James June's um, sign it for me and um, I call this my creative artist shirt. So when I'm trying to learn how to paint as well, I'll, I'll wear this when I paint. And So shout out to them. Thank them for their support and help along the way. They, they sent this as a gift and s sent me a couple other little a nice blanket um and i sent my my new baby a a little onesie a few months ago so it's nice having having friends and people that support what we're what we're trying to do in that way so keep going keep keep overcoming uh, overcoming the limiting beliefs that that approach all of us i think as humans we all have limiting beliefs in one way or another just those those things we can't control. Don't push those things away and don't worry about it and, and focus on the things you can control. So keep keep going. Follow the journey.